Hello, welcome again. This is my second number uh, 18 that I have done. Uh, this is a house alarm using PIC 16F819. And uh, it uh, can show you the four zones one being the entrance zone, uh, like the main entrance door, and to that. Uh, on PS different from the other three and then it also has a uh, indication for short uh, circuit on the uh, zones that means uh, if this area is short any of this area it will show you which uh, zone is short circuit and so because this one is an exposed uh, area and then here you have uh, uh, switch clusters, meaning these are deep switches. Uh, that was my daughter disturbing me. Anyway, let's continue. Yeah, here is the matrix where you set up your code, and uh, uh, here is the keypad. Here is the microcontroller, the pic 16 f 819 and uh, the Sony indication uh, LED. Uh, here and then this is the status LED and um, the key uh, inputs are actually analog inputs and uh, they are staged uh, uh, on voltages I'll show you the program uh, the LD micro program how I did it and then the zone sensors are actually uh, magnetic sensors or uh, the PIR, a motion sensor, uh, of course it has got a contact and these are also analog inputs. You can add more uh, if you want, uh, you can add more zones uh, which means uh, you can use the RA6 and RA7 of which remember you have to use the internal oscillator on the when you bend the microcontroller. And then uh, uh, I think that's more about it. but. Uh, before we get into our discussion, uh, uh, yes, uh, what I always emphasize: uh, safety. And uh, uh, this document, please read it. And uh, our projects are have actually done it under electronic waste benefit uh, uh, philosophy, which means you have to use electronic waste as much as possible. Um, and here are the points. Uh, where I would want you to uh, uh, remember uh, this is not an electronic lesson you have to have prior knowledge of electronics find someone who can actually show you how to do it in the minimum of 10 years I expect that you use uh, for someone to do it uh, uh, you have to be 10 years and above at least if you can do it uh, if you are under 10 years and you can do it it's still okay no problem and uh, please, uh, these circuits have actually built them and they do work. Um, later on, I'll actually uh, have to do uh, production videos uh, if I have time and resources to do that. Right, uh, uh, these are plus minus the required uh, resources. Some of them are for other projects, but of course you need an old computer with a 9-pin uh, serial port. And also, uh, I have included a big programmer, the JDM programmer, which is uh, this one I can show you. Uh, I have included, I have given it to you. You can actually build this one as a do-it-yourself project. Right, and, uh, sorry, um, yeah, um, what else? Um, I think uh, much of it is actually straightforward. Um, okay, right, and feedback. Uh, Please, uh, you can do it to tauraimirim at gmail.com. And uh, you need time, of course, you need patience, and uh, you have to have passion for it and dedication. Thank you. I hope you enjoy this project. So, to our second description. So, what you have here is um, um, basically uh, zone number one uh, is actually for the entrance, the uh, main entrance zone then uh, it behaves different uh, we we'll actually have to simulate that uh, 
what it, it does is uh, okay uh, if we simulate I'm using Proteus 8 a professional right so when you start simulation uh, of course uh, this uh, microcontroller is loaded with the Xcode which I'll show you and give to you as well uh, when nothing is happening and the alarm is powered it's running uh, this uh, started L LED will actually flash like that and then uh, these are off and the the zone sensors are normalized this shot is only I've put it just for a simulation otherwise it's not there it's a shot that comes because of a problem or uh, I don't know for uh, because of tempering right so it will be flashing like that slow flash and then um, when you actually uh, want to go out uh, let's do it we you enter your your code mm, let me zoom it so that uh, necessary uh, areas are inside okay uh, mm -hmm. like that right once you enter the key you start to see this uh, it start as LED flashing fast and then it will go solid on then it will go solid on after some seconds so when you enter the code there are about 10 seconds of which you can adjust if you want um, I'll show you the program uh, that's the time when you have to go out of the premises so this one is actually now solid on it means now the the the, the, the alarm is active is is actually on it's armed right so this is the arm condition right when you come back you violate and this one actually shows you uh, that uh, uh, zone number uh, one has been violated it indicates a violation and here uh, obviously uh, it didn't show you I could not show you actually uh, the, the the buzzer comes on it actually uh, it goes off because uh once you activate uh, the, the, the 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 zone uh, uh, sensor uh, the buzzer goes on and then this one actually uh, comes on and then after some seconds uh, the siren will come on and then you to go on off on and off of which you can change I'll show you on the program right and then if you do not enter the 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 key uh, uh, about 10 seconds or so uh, or less uh, which you can adjust I'll show you the program uh, it will the alarm will come on right um, right so let's put in the alarm one four uh, seven nine the alarm comes off and then this one start uh, to flash slow and then uh, you normalize there and now okay if you want to put off the LED indication, so only press the last code digit for long so that it goes off. Uh, so you press number 9 for long, and then it should go off after some seconds. Right now, it's off right now. So uh, the alarm is now uh, deactivated. Right, so let me show you how the buzzer goes if any uh, zone has been viol uh, not violation but uh, it's been broken uh, the buzzer always comes on it actually buzzes right uh, and then uh, the zone that has been uh, broken actually indicated but because the alarm is off now uh, nothing else happens uh, if, you know, if I go to number 3 3 shows the buzzer goes off 
and then it normalizes right uh but when there is a shot then the shot also shows which is one is is uh, having a shot and this one goes uh, faster it blinks faster uh even if you the shot goes away it still blinks faster and uh, show that uh, there was a shot uh, for you to take off the fast blinking you have to press the code digit the uh, last digit long so that it normalizes mm, right. Let's see now it's flashing no not yet uh, long enough right now it's flashing slow okay you can actually connect this power to a if you want to have a sounding um, simulation right so i disconnected here the power for the buzzers all right uh, uh of course powering for the microcontroller remember uh, the positive and negative five volts not negative actually it's the positive and zero positive five volts zero volts to power the microcontroller and uh what else right uh on the program i uh, just want to show you the necessary points right this is the analog input for the uh, sensors right it's uh, one voltage for the sensors uh, it is only one voltage right that's analog uh, number two analog number three analog number three four analog number five four inputs you can add analog f uh, six and seven okay right and then analog number one is actually for the uh, for the key inputs right and then uh, uh, these figures are coming from the voltages uh, remember the calculation that we did with the uh, charge controller uh, solar charge controllers where you actually turn 23 uh, units so you actually have uh, uh, 315 representing a voltage uh, would, uh, refer to my video on PIC 16F819 uh, solar charge controller for you to come out with the, the uh, that figure it's actually voltage on the input right uh, and uh, here the exit 10 seconds uh, when you put in the key uh, you have to have uh, time to go out these are the uh, seconds that you can adjust it to, to go out you can just double click and change here the seconds uh, like if i change here one that will give you one second which is too short for you to go out so if i put a zero uh, that's uh, okay that's 10 seconds uh, if i put another zero that will give me 100 seconds okay right uh, i can put uh, maybe what um, uh, delete uh, that's 15 seconds okay and then uh, to enter also you can actually adjust the time that the siren will come on when you enter this only is for uh, uh, when you actually violate uh, zone number one which is the entrance zone right and i can adjust also this time so you have to adjust this two uh, uh, time delays right also here this is the siren on siren off time you can adjust to maybe 20 seconds and i think you can put maybe uh, 40 seconds on uh, and then maybe 10 seconds off uh, that's not uh, much uh, maybe 20 seconds off like that uh, you can put one minute here which is 60 seconds right 60 60 seconds one minute on 20 seconds off right the explanation on analog input uh, values please uh, like i said use this uh, calculation uh, format um, okay like uh, each unit uh, is uh, th this much voltage uh, that is coming from uh, 5 volts divided by 1023 well you can use 1024 the difference is <laughs> very very minimal um, so uh, this was done for 
solar charge controller so maybe th this part does not apply or even that part is, does not apply but anyway this calculation you can use from here uh, yeah, these two first two points so that you actually get these voltages these points here uh, 315 and 325 as you can see it's actually a range uh, which should give you an alarm condition that is if it's uh, 325 greater than 325 units uh, or it's uh, less than or you got 315 units it's the voltage that appears uh, between uh, okay uh, this 22k 12 plus 10 and uh, the 10k right uh, it's the actually the voltage that the microcontroller will see so it is actually uh, in between these two 325 and 315 units and uh, that 325 and 315 units is coming from this calculation here okay right so if you calculate uh, if you want to get uh, how much voltage it is it's actually 325 times uh, 0 0.04 we can do that and see uh, what voltage is, is it um, plus 325 units uh, times okay uh, times Uh, that the microcontroller will see and that the if it's beyond that then it's an alarm or if mm. 315 uh, times uh, so, uh, 0 0.9 uh, yeah see so it's a uh, 1.54 so in between that uh, it actually will give you an alarm anything uh, uh, above or below that will give you an alarm condition uh, so it's a range uh, and you can see that these uh, voltage are the same for the sensors uh, made it the same you can make them different if you want but I've made it the same and it's a voltage divider between uh, these two uh, basically two resistors but anyway there are three 12k 10k that's 22 kilo ohms and then the 10k and then that's the voltage that is seen by the microcontroller right and uh, also for the key input uh, it's a range as well it's the uh, uh, 375 and 365 same uh, calculation that you actually do for, to for you to get that the same calculation to get the voltages that you, you have to input to the uh, microcontroller but now here it's different it's a range as well, but uh, different uh, uh, voltages as you actually progress with the keys. But these are the inputs for the keys, right? Uh, you have to actually calculate these ones. Uh, this is uh, uh, the voltages that you enter as key. This is key number one, first digit, number one, first, second digit, number two, the third digit, fourth digit. So you can see 845 8 to 835. Uh, this that's, that's the one. 845 to 835. Right. Now to calculate that one. Okay. Uh, maybe let me just show you quickly. Right. Uh, uh, the calculator. You have uh, a voltage. Uh, if I press key pit number one, it shows uh, one volt. One point eight two volts. 1.82 volts so okay yes yes okay mm -hmm. right i stop the simulation i want to show you 1.82 volts remember so with one comma eight two volts then you divide that by zero comma zero zero uh, sorry zero zero four eight nine and uh, that will equal to 372 uh, units uh, the 0, 0.00489 is coming from uh, uh, okay let me show you that figure is coming from 5 volts uh, divided by 5 divided by 1023 units equals to that one 0, 0.00489 uh, nine. Uh, you can divide by 10 
24 if you like well, how you come up with these figures so this represents the voltage that uh, is seen by the microcontroller input right uh, stated that way so key number one key number two key number three key number four so this is the code and then uh, it actually resets the code if you don't want to enter it within a certain time period it will reset the, the this code so that uh, well if you were if you are not really sure of the code it always resets so you can change that delay actually right this plus minus the code uh, uh, you can improve it uh, because I did not even optimize it I just did it as I was thinking uh, uh, so it's not optimized but it's working so you have to save it and uh, compile it here yeah. then you get your hex uh, code so the hex code is the one that you actually uh, burn into the microcontroller and uh, the banner uh, is here this is the uh, the chip banner which is the uh, peak programmer uh, well you can use the pick it if you have the usb version this is the D9 version, the serial port version, it works. I use it, I have it. This is the one that I use, right? Other points that I can think of, okay. Uh, maybe why is it not clear, uh, right? At least four, four positions must be set, meaning that you have to have four uh, keys uh, which will be different. No two uh, positions must be set on a, a each cluster, like um. What I mean is like a setting like this. No, it's not allowed because it will actually change the voltage input to the microcontroller and the Q will not work. So only one uh, position must be set, and uh, you should you can use uh, the the deep switches uh, or you can use any switch that you want. Um. Okay, that's uh, different uh, digits on each cluster. Okay, you can add up to 15 or whatever number code you you prefer. Right, mm. right. Um. Okay, so the other ones you can play around and uh, uh, figure out. Right. So these other zones, when they are violated, it's an immediate alarm condition. The siren will start sounding the buzzer will come on of course but the, the siren will actually also come on uh, there and then and the buzzer will actually sound long if the alarm is active so this one this buzzer will actually go on for double the time but when it's not uh, in alarm condition uh, like it's the the key is not on it's, it's just idle uh, the buzzer will just come on short time right and uh, where else right uh, so the other important part is these uh, here the re this resistor and that uh, sensor are actually the ones that are at the point of uh, sensing uh, meaning that uh, these are the ones that are exposed these ones are actually uh, all these ones are actually in the in, in the box so meaning that like if you have a magnetic sensor, uh, the resistor and the the contact actually inside the the, 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 the unit, uh, the, the the sensor itself. So that's why you have uh, split 10k and 12k. Otherwise, you can just put 22, but you split it this way, right? The resistance is is a matter of choice, but uh, you use the resistors to protect the microcontroller so that you do not have inputs going straight without any resistance there because whatever happens here if there is some touch or voltage at least you can actually have uh, less current going into the microcontroller input right um yeah here you also can use a uh, led driver or a transistor driver if you want uh, rather than uh, uh, resistances here at the output uh, 100 um, yeah, maybe 1k will actually do the LED will be dimmer I think 1k is best for that yeah. and then yeah what else yeah, you can use relays here yeah, also to drive the siren rather than the MOSFET and then also what else where is the important part ok right 
yeah i think that's more like it and i thank you uh, and remember please feedback tell me at gmail.com thank you